What's up YouTube? I'm David. I love silver and I love sharing it with you. So this is one of my newest rounds and it's probably one of my favorite rounds. It comes from the Intaglio Mint um, one ounce Kraken. Now I had to look up Int Intaglio and I still have to think about it before I say it, but I had to look up how to pronounce it. And when I was doing that, I realized it is not just like a random name of a mint. It actually is a word. Intaglio is actually a word and it means um, design engraved into a metal, which is pretty fitting, although I'm not sure if it's 100% correct. I'm pretty sure this was stamped or pressed uh, and not necessarily engraved, although maybe my definition of intaglio wasn't complete and it could just mean stamped or engraved as well as, um, well, stamped or pressed as well as engraved. So uh, I think that's a really fitting name for a mint, and I thought that was pretty cool. Um, did not know it meant that, just was looking up the uh, pronunciation and stumbled across that. So this is the one ounce version. It also comes in a two ounce version. Both of them are 39 millimeters across. So the two ounce version is kind of that hunkier kind of feel that I've really started to like. If you don't know what I'm talking about, think about the uh, Queen's Beasts or the Next Generation series from the Perth Mint. And that's what the two ounce version of this is going to be because it's still only 39 millimeters across. Um, so I found this on JM Bullion and to be 100% honest, it was a impulse buy. And I almost never impulse buy my silver. I flip a lot of it, so the price I get is very important and the resellability is very important. Um, I normally buy a bunch at a time and I resell most of it so that I can keep a little bit for either free or very reduced cost. So with that is being my intent, I very rarely will impulse buy um, rounds. But I'm really glad I did because the details on this are just phenomenal. Look at that water. It just absolutely shimmers like the real thing and different shadows and it looks real. It almost looks like it's moving, um, which of course it's, it's not. It's in silver and it's solid but it, it just looks absolutely phenomenal details in here. So I'm really glad I picked this up, even though it was an impulse, because it was a definite win. Um, now, I, as soon as I got, the, got this and realized how good it was, um, I immediately started doing more research, because I know Intaglio does two ounce rounds. I've seen them for sale elsewhere. Um, and the reason I haven't ever got any, even though they looked really cool in the pictures, was I just assumed that in person, the details would just not be as good. I assumed that they wouldn't carry over. Um, because, of course, they present their product in the best light they can when they take those pictures. So I just assumed that they would be disappointing in person, but I was wrong, especially about this one. So I started doing some research, and they do have a two-ounce version, as I mentioned earlier. Um, but the JM Bullion doesn't carry it. JM Bullion only carries the one ounce version. Well, Atmex has the two ounce version, but Atmex does not have the one ounce version. The only place I could find that has both is the mint itself, and they're sold out there. So that made me wonder what kind of mintage does Intaglio normally have on their rounds? And if you know the answer to that, uh, let me know, even if it's not this specific one, if you know they generally only do X number, then say so. But if you know specifically about this one, I'm, I'm definitely interested uh, because it's sold out at the Mint. So this is the only round from Intaglio that I own, and I am going to pick up the 2-ounce version, I have decided. Um, and I have high hopes for it. And if, if the 2-ounce version looks this good, I'm probably going to pick up more, so you can expect to see more Intaglio rounds in my videos. I'm pro probably going to pick up the Spartan Warrior series. Um, those pictures have lots of really cool details in them, so I'm excited to see how those carry on, or carry over, I guess you should say, into the actual silver. Um, because like I said, I didn't think it would be as good as the picture, but man was I wrong. This is way way better. Um, that crack and just taking over that ship is pretty, pretty darn cool. This did not come in a capsule. I put it in the capsule, so any kind of fingerprints on there are mine. Um, so not much else to say about this round. I'll give you some quick details. It's 39 millimeters across and 3.1 millimeters thick, so it fits in standard uh, third-party capsules really well. Doesn't rattle around or anything. 
Um, one ounce Troy of three ninths fine silver. Um, reeded edges, which is, you know, whatever. I like reeded edges. Some people like the smooth ones. My favorite ones are actually smooth but have words in the side. I don't see that very often, but when I do, I really like that. Um, I believe this was minted this year in 2020. Um, cool little thing. Established 2010. That is not when this was minted. That's when Intaglio um, became its own thing, 2010. So Italia has been around since 2010. I believe this was minted in 2020. If I'm wrong, say so in the comments, but I think it's pretty new. Um, so I have high hopes and for future Italio rounds and we'll see we'll see how they turn out. Let me know if you own any Italio rounds and how their details are and if they are something you would recommend because I'm curious now and I'll probably be picking up more. All right guys, I'll talk to you later.